Previously at Martinsville, after oil struck the racetrack, multiple cars stacked in, ending the day of Kyle Weatherman and many more. This week, NASCAR heads to the biggest, the baddest, and the fastest track on the NASCAR circuit. Talladega Super Speedway is located in Talladega, Alabama. This is a racetrack where anything and everything will happen. Like and subscribe because we may be in for one wild video. We start our journey by unloading the number 92 car of Josh Balicki and his teammate Kyle Weatherman in the number 91 Drive Smart Camaro. Kyle knows this is an opportunity to turn his season around and clinch a spot in the playoffs. He's prepared to put it all on the line this weekend. And I learned very early on, Kyle has a few tricks of his own. Wax, wax on, let it sit up, let it sit, let it set up, and then wax off. Some on the rag. Now, yeah. how does this affect the speed of the race? It's gonna be slick as a baby's butt. The window. Let's see the window. The window. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Got to be able to see all the Talladega chaos outside the yeah. front windshield. I try to Fergus not to see. I'm gonna close my eyes. This is a process. How many times do you just say hit of the week? Speedway car twice, three times. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Not a crazy amount. Live from Nicola. That's what I call it. There's never a dull moment in the garage area and always a bit of fun to be had. The crooked door handle over there is bothering me. Oh my gosh. How did they even do That's that? That's bad. How did they even do that? Someone's <laughs> outside, I think. Over there. <laughs> Sorry. It's bothering me. It's like an OCD thing, you know? Here, I'm gonna tell <laughs> Be the thumbnail. <laughs> Waxing the car wasn't the only trick Kyle had up his sleeve for Talladega Super Speedway. Actually, tell you what, this is a cool video to make. A little quick bit. I don't even know this. Let's do it. What are these things? What? How, why are these things on here? What? What are they for? What are they for? These but, little, but they slow the car down, right? They do. They slow the car down. And there's a million of them on like one tire. Like, what are they? What are they for? Someone, please, from it, Goodyear it, or someone. It makes no sense. So you wax the car and you tear these off. Now, this is for Daytona and Talladega, or is this an every week thing? Just Daytona and Talladega. Just Daytona and Talladega. Yeah. So it, it's an aero defect. Is yeah. what Goodyear is serving us here. Yeah. Does all the teams tear these off? They, they all used to. They all used to, okay. This used to be a thing. I don't know if it is now, but we're going to make it a thing for now. But we're really just bored, to be honest. Actually, tell you what, we can actually, on the YouTube channel, can we find this man a girlfriend? I can do it. I can give you. This man brings the to the table. I can fix your car. <laughs> I can make you a race car. I can do you a up. Want the What else do you want from a man? What else do you want from man? I mean, he's everything you can ever ask. Soon after, the drive smart owners of Dan and Chris arrived to the racetrack. We loaded up some golf carts with plenty of merch. Kyle Weatherman is being brought to the infield where the parties are a little crazy and well known. Drive smart on three. One, two, three. Drive smart! Bam. There we go. Zach's in the shower? Zach! Is it here? Zach, where you at? Zach, get out of the shower, man. Come on. Zach, what are you doing in there? Zach, what are you doing? Get out here. You're getting dressed. Well, why are you not out here hanging out with these guys? 
You don't have time for a shower? <laughs> yes, sir. Hey, do me a favor. What's that? Don't wreck Brennan today, please. Oh, well, he's got to stay out my way then. Oh, my God, Come on, dude. Come on, now. Hey, so the good part of the Data Boys. Yeah. This is what we were looking for, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've seen some of your guys on turn three earlier. Hell yeah, dude. Damn, you're a sexy mother You know that? I thought we were in trouble when security called us back. Wait, that's your husband. Okay? Yeah, that's the way I You going down there tonight? On these nuts! Plenty of new fans were made that day. Shortly afterwards, it was now time for the 91 car to be pushed through tech. Luckily, it made it through with no issues and was ready to race. All that's left is for qualifying to be checked off the bucket list. Kyle is strapped in and ready to lay down the lap. The green flag is officially waving as the 91 is hitting the high things for the first time this weekend. The line officially, Kyle will be rolling off of the grid in position number 20. This is the same chassis that unfortunately got junked earlier this season at Daytona. The team repaired it, put speed back in the car, and at Talladega, this chassis will see yet another start. Come Saturday morning, it is race day from Talladega Super Speedway. Before that, Kyle Witherman signs plenty of autographs for fans walking into the fan zone. It's now go time. The nerves are ramping up. The anticipation of Talladega is here. This is a track where you can't hide. You got to put it all on the line every single lap. officially hitting pit road and the green flag is fine. Kyle almost instantly starts working his way to the front. Within five laps, Kyle went from 20th to 7th. Out, slowly roll out. Perfect. I would not do anything too early. Do it where you don't have a chance to lose it back. T11 there, just out of the points. All right, here we go. It was a great hustle though. The Talladega train is forming. Within any moment, that train can go off the rails and it did come to end of stage number one. Kyle 
ended stage one in the 11th position. Unfortunately, Kyle landed a penalty on pit road for too many crew members over the wall. This is gonna restart Kyle in the 27th position. All the ground he has gained has now went to waste. But Kyle is a focused driver and he will come back from this. As Kyle is drafting his way through the field, gaining positions, being aggressive and making ground, he's gonna find his way all the way to the 23rd position. And that's going to cap off stage number two. Final stage is underway. Almost instantly, we're seeing three by three racing. Kyle is absolutely fearless at this point, already making his way to the front of the field twice. He has cracked the top 20. On lap 65, Kyle made his way back inside the top 15, soon to be the top 10. Look out because there's trouble up front at the front of the pack, and now the field is stacking in. Kyle with him with nowhere to go, gets some minor damage on his race car. This isn't a day ender, but the pit crew is going to have to go to work and get this car repaired. The damage isn't bad. But this is going to be the third reset for Kyle Weatherman, and he's going to have to come from the back again. Green flag waves with 41 laps remaining. Kyle is coming from the 30th position. There is no backing off at this point. Aggression is needed from the 91 car. And that's exactly what he gave them, proving the car wasn't hurt and finding his way back to the 15th position. Actually drafting his way back inside the top 10, working with former champion Cole Custer. The laps winding down, we know Kyle is going to be a contender for the win. With two laps to go, Kyle is running in the 11th position. This is it. He has a shot coming to the white flag if things get a little bit shaken up, but unfortunately, the leader is going to get turned in front of the field, and here we go. It is officially the big one at Talladega, and the 91, unfortunately, is going to receive a major amount of damage. With the cut tire, a wrecked car. This does not kill the hopes of Kyle Weatherman as he tries to continue. Freaking 66 got you. I don't know how bad it is. Look at it here, Mario. Clear the fender. Clear the fender. Put a tire on it. Pull the fender. You don't even need to put a tire on it. Just pull the fender so we can make it around. Pull the fender. Pull the fender. Don't do nothing else. Don't rip the nose off of it. Just make sure it clears. Make sure the fender clears. Push the car forward. Start trying to tape the top of the hood. Get some things, start trying to tape the top of the hood. We're probably gonna have to get a saw dolly clearance that. Push it up against it. That's how it'll cut. You gotta push it up against the fender tight. Push your saw on tight to it. We'll come back. Toe, I don't know if the toe rod's knocked out or the toe's way out. Yeah, the toe rod broke or something. Kyle officially finished in the 27th position. Kyle came through the field three times and put himself in a position to win. This man drove his heart out from start to finish and didn't get the result he deserved. As Kyle got to pit road, NASCAR officials came to tell him he needed to check into the care center. Kyle argues that he finished the race and it's not necessary. could have been it. It could have been the race that clinched our spot into the playoffs. Instead, it dropped Kyle to the 28th position in the standings, dropping him down three positions. As this run was promising, that only goes to show we will have more shots to win in the future. Make sure that you like and subscribe because next week, NASCAR is going to be headed to the Monster Mile.